Well, there may be nothing like watching someone you love lose everything to addiction. Last year in Hamilton County, 84 people died of heroin overdose. Another 93 people who died of drug overdose tested positive for heroin. So many loved ones devastated and looking for answers across the tri-state. Tonight, Nine on Your Side reporter Roseanne Aragon spoke to organizers of a memorial event to show grieving families they're not alone and there is strength in numbers in this fight against heroin. Roseanne? Julie, that's right. The issue of drug addiction isn't affecting just the user. The event here today showed that it affects the entire community. Losing someone you love is difficult, but experts say losing someone you love through drug addiction is another kind of pain. The level of shame that these families carry, it's silencing. It's not my child died of cancer and everybody rallies around. It's my child died of a drug addiction and that becomes the gossip. So Libby Harrison organized a memorial to honor the more than 300 people who lost their lives to heroin in the tri-state last year and comfort the families who have felt the pain every step of the way. We wanted to open the space for people to share the grief. Harrison sees the effects of heroin every day, working on the ground with drug addicts, family members, and community members, a number that continues to grow. We are losing pretty much one person a day to overdose in Hamilton County, and the treatment centers have month-long waiting lists. For many, the journey is a lonely road, not just for the user, but for their loved ones. The holidays are hard when there's an empty chair at a table, and that chair could be empty because the person is alive but doesn't want to face their family. Uh, it could be an empty chair because of death. It could be an empty chair because the family has drawn a line. But tonight, she says those loved ones have a place to be heard, to be comforted, to grieve without shame. To give them hope of that someday maybe that chair will be filled again, or at least they're not alone. Now, organizers say they hope to make this event annual. They also hope that anyone who is affected by drug addiction, heroin, drug use, that they will reach out to them as a resource. Reporting live, Roseanne Aragon, 9 on your side.